The colors and sparkle in this wire edged ribbon makes it perfect for the sky. I cut off the wire edges because it's too bumpy to adhere glass on top of. Then I cut the ribbon into small pieces that I will randomly place under the tempered glass as I work. This might be a good time to sit you down and have a talk about adhesives and layers of various media. You must make sure to have adhesive between all of the layers. For example, with this ribbon, the goal is to have adhesive beneath the ribbon and on top of the ribbon before I put the tempered glass on top. If you don't take care to fuse all of your layers together, you risk having movement happen under your glass because there is a loose layer somewhere under it. The tempered glass may eventually fall off if there is movement beneath it. Well, now it's time to switch to the landforms. For demonstration purposes, I am switching to MAC adhesive just so you can see how I work with it. I could have continued to use Lexel, but I wanted to show you a different adhesive. Lexel and MAC adhesives have similarities. They are both clear, strong, and waterproof. The difference between the two, for my purposes at least, has to do with thickness, viscosity, and the amount of work time each offers. You've probably noticed that with Lexel, I am able to slide glass around for at least 30 minutes. MAC does not allow for this. It is difficult to move glass around once MAC sets, which usually takes about 5 to 10 minutes. Notice that when I paint MAC onto the substrate, I only cover about a 3 by 3 inch section at a time. This, of course, is because MAC sets very quickly. Because of its quick setting feature, it is much more difficult to break, to break islands and slide it apart. The areas I'm filling with tempered glass at this point are pretty small anyway, so I really can't use large islands, which makes Mac a good choice for this part of the glassing stage. His gray head bowed, silent. I told lawyer, we got to go, we got to go. But this land for him ain't so easy to leave. I mean, we're here before the almonds and the pistachios. They aim to a stop in the San Joaquin Valley. Operators have raised the check dam and its gates by four feet. But this lifting hasn't been matched by the lifting of the nearby road and bridge. At the spot where the canal and road across it intersect, the flow of water actually...